weather gets cold and nasty outside, I like to come in the shop and build new machines and maybe make some new attachments for the machines that I already have. Um, about a month ago, I was digging some utility trenches for a neighbor uh, down a hard packed gravel driveway. I, was, I had plenty of power to get through the hard pan, but I was having trouble holding the machine still on the gravel. I decided for this winter project that I'm going to be working on today, I will build a set of stabilizers for my 360 degree backhoe so that I'll be able to hold it in place while I'm digging. Let me give you an idea of what I'm building. Here's, here's the stabilizer. It's going to be mounted in place. It's going to be mounted in place of where the stabilizers normally go. It will go down and dig into the ground and hold me solid. And then whenever I want to move or whatever I need to do, I just reach down, flip that, and the stabilizer will be up. I'll be able to tip up on the wheels and move forward. When I get to where I'm going, I take the stabilizer, put it back down. See, it locks over center so it can't come back up. For those people that have not seen how a 360 degree backhoe works, let's take a look at that and then we'll go ahead and get to the stabilizer build. The backhoe uses a 360 degree design for digging. I point the wheels toward the ditch or whatever I am doing. As I finish digging that area, I can turn the turret section 180 degrees. I tip the machine up on the wheels to move. I can change my direction with the swing. This is my finished stabilizer to the top and then the one that I'm building is at the bottom. The only difference is between the two is that this is going to be, this part right here is going to be on the other side because it's going to be a mirror image because I'm going to want this to the inside of the backhoe. Other than that, the two stabilizers should be exactly the same when I'm finished. Let's get to building. I went ahead and tacked the um, stabilizer onto the wheel mount just to make sure everything was going to fit okay. We have a good fit. Um, this is just to give you an idea how it's going to work before we weld it off. Down will be for digging and then I lift the weight off of it with a bucket, lift it up, and then move my backhoe. Alright, let's go ahead and put all the braces on and weld it together and give it a try. <laughs> 